Right. Part of the problem, though, too, is we're often looking for what is the cause for divorce. And I guess my point is also reflective of a, my own experience is that there was a combination of many things that contributed to the deterioration of our marriage. And that is uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, differences of opinion about our children, our uh, differences of opinion on finances, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, as well as our decisions about career and uh, uh, even in-laws and the conflicts around those issues uh, really contributed to problems. Really? You say? Well, we agreed to disagree and I think uh, in many cases uh, there's outside forces that enter into our marriages which we're really not aware of and in some cases uh, uh, women feel as though they have to get out and get a job and uh, as a result uh, they don't pay as much attention to their husband or their family or their house and so forth and uh, I think our panelist up there mentioned that, that the changes mm -hmm. that Change. the world is going through has a lot to do with the fact that there's many more divorces now than there has ever been in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. that true? Just, I, true? I wanted yeah. to point out something, Oprah. Feel, I don't know if this is apparent to the TV audience, but in this room I feel sadness, <clears throat> I feel a quietness, I feel a type of depression, I feel as I hear the men talking saying, I was a gambler, I hear the other man saying, I was manic depressive, there were differences. This is a very different experience, Oprah, than when, when women divorce. When I deal with women in audiences that have been divorced, there's anger toward the men. It's smart women. We're smart women. The men were foolish choices. Men were Peter Pans. Men were um, men who don't love enough. We're women who love too much. It's a much different type of feeling. And one of the things I think that's happening among men now is we're just beginning to sort out and articulate this feeling, but this is a, a real point in history that we're feeling right now. Let me tell you a little bit why I'm sad today. Mm -hmm. We can be sad as men about the loss that we experience when our marriages end, but we also experience a lot of loss when our, our families fall apart. Yes. And I'm a father, yeah. and I am sad today because um, of the problems I'm having con constantly in the courts. We don't have a presumption of joint custody, and we don't have mandated mediation, and we don't have enforcement of visitation, mm -hmm. and we have yes. judges and attorneys not helping us. I think you made a very good point. Uh, my experience is that uh, when you, you, know, you come home from work one day, you're working your tail off, you come home, your wife's gone, your kid's gone, mm -hmm. it takes you 12 weeks to find out where the kid even is, mm -hmm. and then you find out where he is and they give you six hours every two weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, does that compare with anybody else's story? Yeah. Yeah. We will be right back. Back in a moment. Okay.